All right, well, I have been dropped off at the trailhead. That was a nice sleep. That room was so dark and cool. And uh, so anyway, slept good. But this is supposed to be a very rainy day all day. It's supposed to get harder rain. Uh, I've got about 15 miles, almost 16, to the shelter I'm trying to get to. There are a couple of shelters that I'll be passing. Um, you know, so if it gets horrible or whatnot, but just one of those days that just kind of have in your mind, you're gonna get wet. And I think I've prepared for that, so we'll see. But I may not do a lot of recording with the with the rain, but we'll just see. Uh, sometimes I've been lucky, it's supposed to have been raining and, and it, you know, I dodge it or it doesn't rain, but, but we shall see. Well, hello, welcome to our science experiment. <clears throat> it's not really a science experiment, but this is that rainy day. It's been raining all day. I came to some water and I thought I'd, I'd share this. So you can see it's flowing, but just not much. Now, what I've done is I've dug a, out a little bit right here. So it'll kind of pool. Now, once I dig it, I have to let it settle and make sure that I don't cut the flow off or it won't settle as quickly. And, uh, and then I get the water and put it in my filter. So that's life on the trail. Hopefully this rain will help a little bit um, because you can see how this is just kind of a raging, it's, it's described as a raging uh, river or creek. It's not really raging, but maybe this rain will help it. So you can see the water's still flowing. Got a little pool here now, and now I'm just letting it settle. All right, now it's pretty clear. Nice touch by this state park that's here. Got a bench, some signage up here, but check out this signage. It actually has my itinerary. So Appalachian Trail, Rod Hollow Shelter, that's where I'm gonna be tonight. Bears Den Hostel, that's where I hope to be tomorrow night. And then Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, I will be there Tuesday night. So there we go. Nice touch. Very pretty part of the trail where you can see in the forest where there's this bottom and then there's these tall trees and a canopy way up there. So yeah, it's raining, foggy, but man, you gotta enjoy it and see how beautiful it is regardless of those circumstances. All right, have made it to the shelter. Let me show you around the place. It's still raining, so I'm taking advantage of the cover. So that's the, your normal shelter. You can see my bag up there, fire pit. But check this out. I'm in a whole different, there's like a shelter with a picnic table. The privy's up there somewhere. And uh, so this is super, super nice. Thankful to be here. There's the trail log. You can tell I just replaced these boards. Really nice. And they do have a sign, hikers only, one night only. Gonna have to, have to come hear them. Well, good morning. And uh, this is day 31 out here. That was a really awesome shelter last night. Had a, a southbound through hiker come in and enjoyed hanging with him. but. Couple of exciting things today. Um, and the first thing is this. I am entering what we call the roller coaster. It's in the northern portion of Virginia. I'm almost out of Virginia. When you look at the 
elevation map, it just goes up and down and up and down and up and down. And um, so just does this for a few miles. Through hikers say it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, for a day hike, I'm sure it would be pretty testing. And I'm, I'm, I'm not blowing it off. I hadn't even done it yet, so I'm going to be. But uh, kind of fun. It just gives it a little name. It's just these ups and downs. But um, we'll see. And there's also another big deal today. But I'll show you that when I get to it. Little button buck. Hey, buddy. You go enjoy your breakfast. All right, I'm done with the first two hills of this roller coaster. And of course, you know, it's hills and up and down, just like you get the whole way. But in the words of my old hiking partner, Agony, he was in my first big stretch. This is not insignificant. Another fruit tree. If I'm not mistaken, this that, that's a pawpaw. I noticed a few of them here on the ground. So in honor of you today, Paul Paul. So I am trucking on the roller coaster, but I told you there was something else that was kind of special today. It was pretty significant. It's taken me two trips, but I have made it to the thousand mile mark. It's kind of hard to believe. The blessing of some rain. Look at the water in the creeks. This is awesome. Life on the AT. Here's a little buddy. Where are you going? Whew. So I got trapped by the mind game again. Uh, you know, I've got some trail legs built up a little bit. And so I came into this roller coaster a little overconfident, I think, thinking it was going to be an easy day. And, and, uh, and I'm making it, of course, but it's kind of taking my, I don't feel strong at all today. But I guess that's that's when you just keep going, huh? Having to get used to all these leaves being on the trail. There's a few times when the leaves and the sunlight and the rocks and everything can lose the trail. Really pretty spot. Look at the stream flow. Check this place out. See the AT symbol on the gate, so I'm guessing we're in the right place. What on earth is this? Welcome to Bear's Den Trail Center. Yeah, this is it. Well, now I'm, he told me I'm supposed to go around here and had to remember some code. And if anybody knows me, I am not very good with remembering numbers. Three, four, one. Help me remember that. Three, four, one. So I got in with the code. And now I come in here. It's just kind of dark, but anyway, very self-service. There's a couple bunks. And uh, anyway, let me figure out how to turn the lights on. All right, figured this out and it's really kind of cool. So you got this little hostel. Got to have the code just for hikers, but then you go through this brick tunnel. I feel like I'm at Hogwarts. And then here's a door here that they say they open that up at five o'clock and then we'll have access to the store and all that. So that's where the pizza and the ice cream, I think they have a deal or something. So this is a really cool place. So it's the morning after Bear's Den Hostel, and uh, that was really nice. I was there by myself, but was it was great. Um, so I got like 0. 0.6 miles to where I'm picking up a car to take me into Harper's Ferry. So let me tell you what's happening. So I didn't quite make it to Harper's Ferry. So to meet Paula there, and we had to schedule it because she had some things to do this weekend. So she came on, she's coming up today. Matter of fact, she's already landed in Baltimore and uh, she's renting a car to drive over. But anyway, so go spend a day with her tomorrow or this afternoon and tomorrow. And then she'll drop me off where I'm getting picked up here this morning on Thursday. So then I'll 
come back so I'm not skipping miles uh, and that kind of stuff. So anyway, so this is going to wrap it up. Um, hopefully I'll see her in just a little bit and I'll probably send a still or something, but um, great day, beautiful day. Been a great trip so far and uh, looking forward to this stop at uh, Harper's Ferry. All right. All right, so we're spending our day here at uh, Harper's Ferry and this, this is Paula Peavy walking the AT right here. <laughs> so we are actually going from West Virginia, West Virginia to Maryland over the, what's the name of this river? Potomac. Potomac, very good. We're going over the Potomac <laughs> River and the Shenandoah River come together right here. And uh, so we're at that confluence, that's the point in Harper's Ferry. And we're walking over the bridge over to another state. Three states. At one time. Three states.